beaming into your mind like a ray of cosmic revelation, smashing through the mainstream like a comet of prophecy. You're listening to Planet Verloc, your podcast for everything super psionics and magic tech. Lords and ladies, welcome to my show. You know, I was just thinking, off the top of my head, back in the day when Glenn Danzig sang in The Misfits that song, Astro Zombies, he hit the nail on the head when he sang, All I Want is the World. And that is the topic of tonight's podcast. No, not the Astro Zombies part. They're temporary. I'm talking about ruling the world. So without further ado, let us begin. Yes, tonight I want you to stop and take a good look around you, retrospect on your experiences of the day. Did the cashier grin or frown at you? Well, you really can't tell now, can you? Why? What do you mean, why? Because she's wearing her gag. We all are. That's right. Everyone is wearing a mask in my honor. Now, don't be envious. I've been at this psionics work for quite some time now. So I'm sure you'll have ample opportunity to reshape and fashion the world in your own vision later. But much later. As it is, everyone is standing apart in the stores. People discover that it is nearly impossible to manage their own little monsters. And so, less people are bringing their children to the store in fear of the haunting virus. Six feet apart! Fewer, smart Alec remarks. And the cashier, instead of asking you prying questions into your personal life that she has no business knowing about. Well, he or she. Now instead the cashier is simply praying to God or Satan or perhaps Aladdin or Mulan that you, the customer, will just scurry on out and go away. Isn't it better this way? Well, look around you. While... We're still far from perfection. I'd wager, I'd wager that overall behavior in your neck of the woods is at the best it's been in decades. Well, for some of you old enough to be my grandparents, maybe today's standards might call this good times. You don't need to go to work unless you really, really need to, or even desire to. Well, we're almost to that point. The government is beginning to fork over all of that hidden bribe money it's been hiding all these years. Aren't you happy yet? No, not quite yet. Well, more to tell you I have. You see, when I grow a beard, and thereafter becomes the hippest thing, I can weave a fad with a thought and a gesture, and I have never failed to this day. Oh, there are slight deviations from the rightful and true path of Vrolockians, <laughs> but these are to be expected, as the greater majority of muggles really don't know what is best for them. But we are working out these little snags, you might notice, and the arrivals of my new metal Law enforcement droids is not far from around the bend. Don't you feel safer already? Yes, well, like Dr. Doom, I give you a robot army to keep my citizens safe. Yes, only your sovereign ruler, Herr Dr. Von Verloc, knows what is best for you. Like the good citizens of Japan, we're all wearing masks out of consideration for our fellow citizens. Isn't that something? And we nearly have arrived back on track with the universal health care system. Well, almost there. We'll get there, old boy. Oh, but you're still not impressed. I understand. I promise to deliver the goods. Wait and watch. Soon you'll be trading 
more digital currency all around the planet. Well, maybe it won't be mine. It'll be somebody else's. Don't believe me, Dr. Jones. You will. I will make you a true believer. All that transpires manifest because it's been allowed. I allow it. If I say Jim Carrey is the President of the United States, then so would it be. And I didn't say it just yet. At the moment, I have in my mind... Well, my mind is on other things than presidency, so you might as well take advantage of my mind's eye turned elsewhere. See, I'm throwing you some options to enjoy the game for yourself. Learn from me, I beg you. Use my knowledge, as Emperor Palpatine once said to his prospective apprentice. Already then, so you're going to be better off from now on because you will have the digital countenance of yourself on a whole new level very, very soon. That is if you all cooperate with the direction of my will. Else it's going to be very difficult to achieve the prosperous society of my dreams. I want you to fulfill my dream. Help make old Verloc happy. Fulfill an old man's dream of a better world. My world. Well, thank me later. No, really, think about it for a moment. When you've had a sour day, do you run around the streets like a strutting peacock? Or do you desperately reach out for your iPad and have yourself a merry old time playing Minecraft? Or perhaps Gardenscape? Well, there you have it. You've already decided which world is better. In a manner. In a manner. And I am going to give you this world in such a way that you would never dreamt of. All I require is your support. Not so much your consent, but your support is greatly appreciated nonetheless. One day, you will be entirely free of the Ill illnesses which plague you today. But not only what ills you today, but you will be able to thwart off all manner of genetic inherited problems associated with your nervous system. If you do not believe me about my workings with yellow magic, and shame on you for not reading my five-star book on Amazon, oh, but never mind, it's under another pen name, unimportant, join my club and I might tell you where that book is. Take a look at the breakthroughs of our contemporary visionary and champion, Mr. Elon Musk. His dream of Neuralink has the potential to rid humanity of all manner of illness and even addictions. In his own words, and I am afraid I might need to paraphrase here, but Elon Musk said something rather like this. All the problems that we will have later on in life as we age are based on electrical signals. So if the problem is electrical in the body, then the solution should also be electrical. All right, well, something rather like that. I'm not quoting him word for word, but he did say something like that. What you see in the world before you today is a shrinking world. First, the eradication of the Berlin Wall. Now, all borders fall. At first, this does not appear like a viable solution to those of us who have lived in the old system for the greater majority of our lives. But as we provide new education and technological advances to a more inclusive and all-encompassing society, the need for borders will indeed vanish like a long-forgotten memory, yesterday's news, and the turn of the tide, but only if this is done correctly. Access to medicines and education will become more widely, well, accessible. The only real problem remains of making such services feasible, while being both cost-effective to the providers of such services, and by the same token, are to be entirely affordable to all citizens. Now, I didn't say most citizens. I said all citizens, but 
However, in order to make affordable to all citizens, that means all people must be citizens. And if we have borders in the future, we cannot be all of us citizens of a system that is, as they say, inclusive and serves to all human beings. Likewise, cloistering behind barriers out of a fear of some loathsome imaginary boogeyman will not help us all as the earth pole shifts and as the sun darkens, we need to be able to build strong structures of weather resistance and capable of withstanding powerful telluric ripples in the earth and at sea. Thus also we must maintain an ability to be flexible, mobile, agile, and ready to shift from one location to another should the need arise, or the earth make it necessary to inhabit one area or another. Thus, regions must be entirely redefined by their trajectory for pers prospective resources against projected weird weather phenomena, mega environmental disasters, and essentially the kinds of crisis that would leave an ordinary society incredibly vulnerable in a critical state of emergency. By being isolationist, we do exactly that. We, we would be isolating, and therefore not all can benefit from what is apparently available to all. We have more resources on this planet than we actually realize. It's simply the way in which resources are handled. The old system won't do. In essence, we must achieve what we as human species have thought for long to be entirely impossible. That is a coexistence with our fellow humans and those who may perhaps speak another language or think and associate differently than we are accustomed to. But do not worry, our computerized learning systems of tomorrow will become the pivoting point in the learning curves of today. We are approaching that zenith of an end to one story. Yet the skies are wide open to new adventures. Ask yourself, have you the spirit to embrace uncertain changes? If so, spread your wings and fly into the future with Herr Dr. von Vrilach. Now don't forget this. The old way of thinking is to exercise rebellion. In the times ahead, I suggest a more artful approach. Rather than fight change, we will ride these waves of change. And as we do, we will use psionics in parallel to anything that society transforms into the new world. Our methods can and will create the necessary coincidences in space-time, emphasizing what we desire and suppressing the things which make us miserable. By writing the system and using psionics to nudge affairs over a bit, we will head in the best foreseeable direction. To begin programming the reality that you so desire to live in, you will need some of my methods and philosophy. Why should I have all the fun? Well, you'll need to learn about the magical lifestyle. Read my book, Keep the Magic High. The ebook is four ninety nine to download. You'll, you'll also need to learn dowsing. No problem there. Simply download my multimedia package to learn dowsing in a fun and entertaining fashion. If you're really ready to rock, then you'll need to learn how to emphasize what you want and suppress what you do not want by first reading my book, Psionic Splicing, only $29.99. And you really shouldn't do all of this on your own now, so why not purchase my book, Psionic Necromancer, and command the forces of the underworld without so much as lifting a cadaver. All you need is the state of mind, some patterns on paper, and perhaps a prayer board to get these 
spirit forces working for you. Those of you who are real collectors, don't forget to check out my truly rare and wonderful collector's edition of the Verlock Practical Guides Paperback Trio and take the journey of Verlock's life. Do the path work therein and make that magic yours. Own the magic. So that about wraps up tonight's show, lords and ladies. If you haven't joined my Insiders Club, you really should. We're taking on projects for remotely influencing the future of digital and crypto in my latest lectures on cryptomancy. Join at verlock.club and use my knowledge. Thank you for joining me tonight on Planet Verlock's Annex Podcast, and until next time... As always, keep the magic high. This is Tom Verlock, signing out. <laughs>